Hello, and welcome to Maxie's Fun Time. This is Maxie, and we are here back on... Turn that music off. <laughs> we are here back on Stardew Valley. The reason why we're here is because... I'm going to bring up my inventory real quick so it'll pause the game. Um, we didn't have enough money this time around to pay for our wow, so it was going to have to wait until her next check. So I've got two weeks that I need to do filling stuff with. And one of the things I've been promising you guys is a, a walkthrough of the crops for the different seasons. So I'm going to try to go over those. But instead of just ranting them off all in one video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through spring, all the spring crops, and then we're going to do a video of midway through the month and then the end of the month and I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do another playthrough using what everybody considers the uh, top crop for the month so for instance everybody tells you in video to make the most money you need to grow cauliflower or strawberries now you don't have access to strawberries in the first spring, so you can't grow those. Uh, also, another common thing is people tell you not to grow strawberries in the first spring and just save the seeds. Uh, although it is good for you to save some seeds, you want to buy enough to where you're saving the seeds for next month. You do absolutely want to grow some in spring. But I'll go through all the figures with you. You guys can decide for yourself which ones you want to grow, which ones you don't want to grow. Um, all the information I got, except for how much experience you get per season per crop, are all on the wiki. Uh, I calculated all that up, and how I did that was I took the amount of times it takes you to grow. So, like for cauliflower, it takes 12 days to grow. So you get two grows per season. You see what I'm saying? So these are per plant, so you understand that. It's not multiple... Um, this is one plant grown, okay, so you plant one cauliflower and then another cauliflower. So you plant one cauliflower, and when you harvest that when you plant another cauliflower, and you should get two plants per season, you, if that, that makes sense to you. Now, if you, if you grow more than one plant per grow, you actually get more experience. And uh, I'm going to have to cut the video right here for a second. Because my dogs are barking up a storm. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> um, our, uh, my wife's sister's outside, and <laughs> she, she's got a friend out there. The dogs are going nuts every time she thinks they're coming in or something's happening. So, I'm going to do another playthrough uh, off camera of cauliflower and I'm going to try to grow the same amount of crops in both of them so that we have a steady um, well we have a fair comparison basically and we're going to compare both of them midway through and then at the end okay and we'll see where we stand on both experience and the money aspect of it if that makes sense to you uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the videos and uh, we'll see where they lead from there I will update these for the 1.1 patch when it comes out. This is the current uh, current build of the game is not the 1.1 patch so we will be doing a playthrough of the 1.1 patch when it comes out. I haven't decided on which aspect I'm going to go with so I might let you guys vote for that if you're interested. Um, I'll be putting my usual straw poll in the uh, description of a video to let you guys vote on it. So. Spring crops. This is the spring crops video. Now, there's three that I want to mention straight off the bat. All right, uh, they are not available at the start of spring. And, okay, garlic is one of them. And garlic is not available till the second year. Okay, uh, garlic takes four days to grow. It makes about now. Now they have a on the wiki. They have a gold per day. I don't know how they calculate this up. I don't know if they just average it off the normal price of a normal crop and don't take into effect 
the silver or the gold price or if they do some kind of ratio thing but I'm just giving you what's on the wiki I'm assuming they take the normal cost and then divide it by the number of days it takes to grow and then maybe subtract the cost of the seed or something like that anyway uh, so garlic takes four days to grow and you make about five gold per day okay you do make 12 experience for growing that crop now what that means is when you plant it and then you water it every day when you harvest it you get 12 experience for for that plant that's what that means all right and just a, just as a note the experience is per plant the experience is different per plant so you understand me all right you, you understand as I go along which that gives you a total of 84 experience for the season for just planting one garlic every time okay so you plant one garlic and then four days then you plant another garlic and then four days you plant another garlic and so on till the end of the season you will gain 84 experience that season for for farming that one plant that over and over again hopefully i'm explaining this the way you guys can understand it but however it's not available till the second year so kind of out of the question even getting that one uh, the second one is rutabaga and rutabaga is only available in the oasis if I'm not mistaken now if I got these backwards or mixed up make sure you post it in the comments down below I'll post it in the comments down below if I got it mixed up I only have little marks on the side of here uh, that they are uh, special not available in the first uh, year marks all right so um, rutabagas, I believe, are available in the Oasis. Um, they take 13 great days to grow. They average 9 gold, 9.23 gold per day. And you get 26 experience per, per plant. That will give you the entire season of growing one rutabaga each time at 52 experience points and strawberries uh, they are a renewable crop so this one's a different a little different total I had to subtract the initial eight days from the total so there's 28 days in a, in a month and then I divided the rest of the days left over by four which gave me a total then I add one on to it okay so there's, tw there's eight, and so I took off eight, and that leaves twenty. And then I divided it by four, and that leaves five. And I add one on, be six. That's six total times that you can grow a root of uh, a, a root a strawberry in a month. All right. Now <laughs> there's two different ways to grow strawberries. All right. You can grow them from the beginning of the month if you bought them the previous year. You can grow them from the beginning of the spring, but you can also grow them the minute you get them from the festival you can plant them and then water them all right and that's two different totals here all right and I've got both of them figured up so I'm gonna give you both of those even though they're not, they're not available your first spring at the beginning all right so if you can plant them on the first day of spring you can make 20.83 gold per day all right that will give you that that makes this crop the best crop to grow for gold in that month all right now however if you plant them on the festival day you will make 11.67 gold per day Meaning that even if you plant them on the festival day, this is still the number one money-making crop. <laughs> so, make sure you actually plant some to recoup the, the losses that you made by buying them. Alright? So, if you plan on buying 20 for the next year, make sure you buy, I don't know, like an extra 10 and go ahead and plant them so you can make back the money that you used to just buy those. And, and, and then just grow those for the rest of the season and make some money off of it because it's the best crop to grow you're not you're not gonna lose now experience wise 
you only make 18 experience per plant. So if you start the first spring, you make 108 experience, which make makes it one of the best experience growing crops also. All right. Uh, the problem with that is by the by the second year you're probably not gonna have to worry about experience too much on the farming so I don't know if you're gonna be growing anything based on how much experience it gives you you're only gonna be worrying about the money making aspect so um, for your first spring uh, you're gonna get it on the festival and that's only going to give you 300 and I mean uh, 36 experience points for that. Uh, season which isn't going to make it that useful for an experience crop all right so so you understand me there are certain crops that you can make you plant for money and there are certain crops that you can plant for experience and then there's like middle crops where you can get uh, you, they're okay on the money aspect and they're really good at getting you a lot of experience from your farming all right so those aside, there are seven more crops that you have available to you on the first spring that you can plant. Now you get turnips on the first day, all right? And uh, those take four days to grow, and I believe you harvest them on your fifth day, all right? So the first four days, you're not, basically, let me try to try to explain this for you guys. Uh, the way I've got it figured up, there's a leeway on uh, some of the crops. You can actually grow your turnips and then grow a full season's worth of the crops. The exception with that, I believe, is green beans. And also strawberries uh, for green beans and strawberries uh, you need the entire 28 days all right you need the entire 28 days to get the full amount of that um, uh, green beans going going off to the side we'll talk about that in a minute so just to let you guys know that green beans and strawberries you need to plant on the first to make a maximum amount of profit and maximum amount of experience out of them so just be mindful of that now I'm gonna go over the rest of them and then we're gonna look at my strategy for this uh, thing and uh, I'm gonna show you what I got planted outside and this one I am on day six on this one I've already started the testing of it so uh, this is the one you will be seeing as I play through it uh, the cauliflower is 12 days makes 7.96 per day you get 23 experience would give you 46 total experience for the season. Uh, green beans is one of those renewable crops, so initial growth is 10 days, and then it grows every three days after that, giving you a total 28 days of growth. All right, you get 7.2 gold per day, and your uh, experience per plant is nine experience. That makes your total per season. 63 for the season. Uh, kale, which is a six day crop, you can make 6.67 gold. Now these are approximates, they're not exact numbers because you make more or less depending on whether you get a silver or gold crop uh, and then the RNG kind of aspect of it. But it's about this amount. So just be mindful of that. And uh, Kale will give you 17 per crop with a total of 68 per season. And it's, it's, one, it's one of the best, well, it's one of the best starter crops for you to grow in your first spring, to put it that way. Uh, parsnips grow every four days. You only make 3.75 gold per day, but you do get eight experience per which is one less experience per green bean and you will get 56 experience points for the season so uh, if you want to just grow parsnips all the way through uh, you get a good amount of experience for it but you won't get that much uh, gold out of it 
uh, potatoes also grow six days grow time six days um, the different stages also on the wiki it shows you what the different stages look like which is really good to uh, to, to look at when, when before you play and uh, do your little strategies and everything uh, is 7.66 gold per day and um, you get 14 experience per plant with a total of 56 experience for the season um, that one and the last two are the flowers now I'm only including the flowers in case somebody wants to do some special little uh, thing you're not going to make any money off the flowers okay so just be mindful of that uh, the blue jo jazz flowers that take seven days to grow you make 2.86 gold per day and the uh, you get 10 experience which gives you about 30 per day um, that seems kind of low should be four crops it should make 40 that's right right yes you should have four crops that in a day uh, in a season you should have four crops the seven times four is 28 yeah 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 yeah. so so that would be 40 instead of 30 my bad my bad my math's off on that one um and tulips is the last one uh it's six days of growth 1.6 gold per day you make seven gold per plant let me recheck the math on that one also. So 28 divided by 6 would be 24, so that's 4. Yeah, that's right, 28. Okay, so that's the totals. That's the amounts. You can rewind this and listen to them of all that. I uh, will leave the links down if you want to write them down and uh, look at them to optimize your farm. If you're that type of person, you need to optimize it. Uh, uh, the first day, the very first day, as I did on the first one uh, if you do it right you can get this amount and plant them on the first day one two three four, five six seven that's 14 you should at least be able to get 10 this is going to give you the most amount of experience don't worry about me wasting time on here I'm not going to keep this one I'm not going to save this day I'm going to just uh, I'm going to close this game out and I will start back over from the beginning of Saturday 6 so don't worry about that so uh, definitely plant this much right um, these are the other ones I had left over I didn't get them all watered in my first day so uh, just just be mindful of that the rest of these are potatoes so I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Did I count those wrong? I sure did. Let's do it this way. There's three up, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rows of 3, which is 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So we've got 43 total crops of potatoes planted. And I'm going to stick with that number. So we're going to plant 43 every time. So when those grow up, we're going to plant 43 more. I'm going to keep doing that until we can't grow anymore that month. And then I'm going to plant 43. Actually, if I want to keep the same number of crops, I have to keep calculate my total number and then divide that because I can only grow two crops of cauliflowers and it won't be the same number will it hmm that's gonna be tough that's gonna be tough yeah because potatoes are six days which means I'm only going to get uh, four grows on it. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to grow 80, like 86 cauliflower to get the same amount grown in the same season. That's going to be rough. Oh, well, that's what we got to do. It. So, 
that's the plan right now. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope it's useful for you guys. We will get into some other stuff. I will go in depth looking at, you know, uh, um, the different uh, stuff you can do, different money making. Um, you probably won't see me go fishing. <laughs> um, fishing is a great way to make money, but I cannot fish in this game to save my life. So I need a lot more practice. A lot more practice. I might just do a couple of run throughs of just fishing. That's all I'll be doing is fishing. And uh, uh, I might do like cooking and stuff. Um, anyway, I hope this was useful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if there's any kind of tips and tricks about the uh, different crops that you want to post in the comments down below, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if I got something backwards on the crops that are available in the second spring and which ones are available at the Oasis, I will go back before I do a summer video and make sure that I note the Oasis crops and the second year crops so that I know definitely for the next video. But if I got those mixed up, put that in the comments down below. Uh, if my math is off on one of them, you put that in the comments down below and I'll fix it in the next video. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos. And you can come check them out and see if you like them. If you do like this video and you want to share it with your friends, tell me how much you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. And I will see you guys on the next episode.